Hey everybody, welcome back to The Hunting House. Today we're gonna to continue on how to become a bow hunter and we're gonna talk about some of the things that you might look at and consider in choosing the best bow setup for you. The biggest thing that I'll say is ignore the influencer. Shoot every bow that you have available to you. Do the research for yourself. I've had my archery shop now for about 10 months. You know, I've been in business for a lot of years, but I've never had a retail location. And so I've been able to talk with a lot of different people coming in the doors that are at different levels of hunting or different levels of archery and ask a lot of questions. And I've been able to gather a lot of information on how a person can get into bow hunting. So picking out a bow for the first time has got to be a little bit intimidating, um, especially now that there's so much information out there. There's all these videos, there's articles, there's so much content with social media and all these different ideas and input out there. And so to me, like, you know, the fact that you're watching this video, for instance, shows that you have interest and you're doing your research and you're, you're looking for what might fit you the best. So I feel like everybody that is getting into a new sport or getting into something new you know specifically we're talking about archery you probably have in your mind what it's worth to you what you know how much time you want to invest in it how much money you want to invest into it the value of of you know that that activity in your life and what it what it is what you feel like it's going to mean to you keep those things in your mind as you come in and, and introduce yourself into the shop. The other thing is, is not all shops are the same. You know, hopefully you all, you, you go into a shop, you have a very inviting atmosphere. Um, you're able to talk to someone right away and communicate with them and ask questions and feel comfortable and get in a situation where you're building an, an, an establishing a relationship of trust with the salespeople and the techs and that you can feel comfortable in that space. Then I feel like you have more of an opportunity to open up about what some of your concerns might be, what some of your findings are in your research and what you've, you've looked for. Uh, recommendations that have come from friends or family and then you can kind of uh, you know confidently communicate those ideas we want you to be able to put your hands on every option that is available to you um, within your budget and within your ability we have every bow that we have available set up in a fully complete package a rest a sight you know, the, the D-loop tied in the right way, a peep, everything that we can adjust to a shooter fairly quickly and give them a real experience of shooting a bow as it should be going into the field versus just a bare bow off the wall with a biscuit on it. Um, so we like to have, to be able to offer that real, real full experience. So as you come in and you're looking to get into archery, keep in mind what, how much money you wanna spend, because that's important. You kind of have your, your limit of what it's worth to you. You don't necessarily have to divulge that to the sales uh, person. But what I wanna do is I wanna walk somebody into the store, not pre-qualify them or pre-judge, and we're going to ask a lot of questions and put some bows in their hands and give them the opportunity to shoot it. My recommendation is, is, is go in when you feel like you can have some time to dedicate to shooting every bow. And this isn't something that has to happen really fast. It's not something you, have, you should feel like you have to do in, in one day's time. Come in and give yourself the experience of going through the buying process. Go through the selection process of shooting each and every bow. I promise if you come in here and you have a dollar level in mind, we will fit you to the absolute best setup that we can to get you within that, that budget range. We have a lot of great options that I feel like a person can go out the door with and find, find hunting success. It's easy to fall into the brand category window. We all do it with trucks, with weapons, um, shoes, clothing, we all do it. We all fall into a brand category and that's okay, you know, because there's an identity there and there's a feeling of value there and a feeling of trust within, within specific brands and that's okay. But that doesn't mean that you can't try everything. As a new shooter, you have to be able to establish and build that trust with your shop. Hopefully you have it in your area. Um, I know a lot of shop owners did a lot of research before opening the shop. There's some amazing people out there that are very talented, very skilled, and hopefully you can find yourself in the doors of, of one of those shops. Next video, we're gonna go through some builds. I think when you get when we get down to specifics, what we're gonna do is have Chandler and Christian each pull a bow from from each uh, you know category, each pricing point. You know, some from from 
from some different brands. And we're gonna go ahead and build those out how we feel like they should, they should be built out. So I think one of the number one points that I could say as a new person coming into the door is you really have to try not to feel intimidated. You need to come in with confidence and with humility and asking questions, but uh, don't be timid, don't be, don't be nervous. Come in you know, looking to have a good time, come in looking for success and with the, the mindset that you're, gonna, that you're gonna dig it, that you're gonna draw back and you're gonna shoot some of these bows and you're gonna really enjoy it. Just know that getting into archery it can become a part of your life, and I feel like um, it should be. I want you to go into it with the same excitement level that we have we have for it here in the shop. So that's it. That's enough of my ramblings. Thank you very much for watching this video. Look forward to carving out some time to make the next one.